All right, hey guys, welcome to Notify Alarms and such, and this is Notifier AFP 200 Test Sticks, older Gen Techs. So to start down here at the first pull station, we have a Faraday 32 SK2 single action pull down key locking pull station. Going up, we have the Gen Techs SAG with the strobe removed because it had a dead strobe and this will be doing code three mechanical horn. If we come over here as a Gentex SHG, this is flashing at 1575 candela with white fire lettering on the side. And this will be doing high-low tone coded at code 3 in sync with the other horn. Coming down here, we have the Firelight BG10L key locking push then pull dual action pull station. Coming up here, we will uh, be smoke testing this uh, let me go what's it called smoke detector. We'll be smoke testing that today. That is the ionization version of the detectors. Coming over here is the Wheelock MT24. Um, this is the multi candela version, so at 30 candela, and we'll be doing strobe only today. And then finally, coming down here is the FCI MS2 dual action lift and pull pull station, and then the test or the uh, silence reset key switch down there. So to begin this test, I think we will start with the Faraday Pulse Station. So, here we go. So silence the panel, fan continues to go, and strobes continue to flash. So we'll put in our Faraday key and reset the pull station to reset. You open it up, push the lever back in, and close and lock again. And then we will do a system reset. And then we can go ahead and go to the next pull station. So, here we go. Push and pull. So you set this one, we put our key in turn, and everything pops back up and then you close it. And holding the reset button makes coded things go continuous while the panel is resetting, so that's why that happened. So, panel is reset, now we can come over here and do the FCI MS2. So we'll do lift and pull. And we will silence down here from the key switch. Panel is now silenced, so we can go ahead and reset the pull station using our FCI key. To reset this one, you put your key in, turn it, and everything automatically goes back in, and then turn again to lock. And we'll reset the panel with the key switch. And the panel is now resetting. Panel is now reset and we will wipe our paper to do a smoke test. Grab my lighter. Oh, I had a flame. Ow. It's hot. We'll go ahead and hold it up, and we might get a pre-alarm warning when smoke hits a certain concentration in the detector.
and now alarm is silenced. All the panel is going and the fan is clearing out that head, we can actually go ahead and saber test the detector in the back room. Oops, there we go. Let's go ahead and test that right here. May actually trip the other panel. Put your arm. Oh, nope, it's just going. So we'll go ahead and silence that. We can clear out the chamber. There we go. There we go. And now I think that we are sufficiently cleared out. We can go ahead and try reset. Let's see if we reset. Awesome. And then just for fun, we will do a uh, drill. This is a manual evacuation. A manual evacuation does not turn on the strobe circuits or really circuits that are set to non-silenceable. So this will only activate my horns and not my strobes. But let's do a fire drill. So we press the drill button for two seconds. Horns will come on, but any of the relays and strobes will not. And we'll go ahead and, re and reset it. All right, there we go. So this has been Notifier AFP 200 Test 6, older Gen Techs. So thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.